new type of club has come into creation in the UK. Cameron Dante, ex-member of Bizarre Inc. and founder of the new Super Club Ascension in Manchester, shares his vision with us. What is clubbing? What we're doing is we're starting with a blank slate and we're saying, you know, what is the experience that you can offer to people? So we've made not a super club, but four small clubs in one. Everything's a risk, you know, and, and what we're doing by opening this club is a big risk. We've got 15 new DJs on board that nobody's ever heard of. And when they get too big, then rather than keep them on and follow a formula, we'll move them on and get another 15 DJs and build them up as well. But we're, we're not going for the superstar DJ, but we are going for the well-known. People like Graham Park, people like Dave Haslam. We say that when they come and play for us, please don't do what you do in other clubs. Be imaginative, do something new. You know, it, it is about the music, but it's not just about the music. We've got Velcro on the walls, and we're going to have human living art stuck on the walls. You know, it's, it's about being different, it's about being artistic. You know, we've got uh, an artist that's going to start here, and we keep them for six months, and we say, this, this, this place is your place. Do whatever you want to do. Big, big differences about this club is we give 10% of all our profits every year away to charitable funds. We, we don't advertise it, even though I am advertising it now, we don't advertise it. We, we prefer to just do that quietly. We have a drugs and alcohol um, place that's across the road. There's um, young DJ schools where, you know, disadvantaged kids want to, they're not going to go and work in a shop. They don't want to take on A levels and O levels. They, they want to do something creative, so we'll give money into urban regeneration for young kids as well. You know, I want to plough something back into Manchester. I think Manchester deserves more than just somebody taking all the time. You won't recognise this in another year's time. We've got glass floors to go in yet. The internet cafe's yet to go in. You know, this whole bar area is going to be transformed as well. I mean, the opening weekend, we had two and a half thousand people in, and it just was unbelievable. Queues right down the street on both areas. Next week, we've got Head Candy, who are the biggest thing in the UK at the moment. I mean, it's a great space for it. Amazing.